morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is July 24th, 2018. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week. Um, what you are looking at right now is a photo of the very first automobile slash motor vehicle patent. It was called a road engine, uh, number 549160. And this was patented back in November uh, 5th of 1895. Now, the reason that I have this up in front of you today is because we are going to be talking about automobile slash motor vehicle uh, patents, anything that has what's considered a propelled road engine that's propelled by fluids, um, and the patents that are on those vehicles. There's over 400,000 of them today. And we're going to be taking a look at where you can locate that information. Okay, so here is our first reference in the Justia patents. Uh, this is an online source that will provide you with patents of all sorts. Uh, the motor, motor vehicle patents uh, basically encompasses anything that is a quote unquote road engine that's powered with the means for creating fluid force to attract vehicle to surface of travel. Uh, it encompasses um, the mechanical means to accumulate energy. It, it encompasses all of the patents that are available for the automobile slash motor vehicles. Now, the reason that all these things are encompassed under one umbrella is because there is not just motor vehicle patents for each individual vehicle. As a matter of fact, for some vehicles, there are not specific patents. However, all of the parts within those vehicles are patented, and as a result, they all are under one large um umbrella, being automobiles slash motor vehicle patents. As a result of this, no matter what you call your specific mode of transportation, if it has these parts in it, meaning parts that are powered, uh, that are powered with fluid and mechanical means to accumulate energy, as we see in automobiles uh, today, you will find that uh, they are patented, or at least all of their parts are patented with the United States Patent Office or with the respective patent office of, that, of their country. With that being said, they all qualify as a motor vehicle slash automobile, meaning that if you call your vehicle a vessel, if you call your vehicle a conveyance, or if you call your vehicle a pleasure craft, matters not. You can call it what you like. However, the bottom line is that at the patent office, they're considered a motor vehicle slash automobile or made up of parts that are specifically for and with the intent of mechanical means that's, that uh, accumulates energy with fluid considered to be a motor vehicle, all right? Meaning that the argument of right to travel based on the fact that you are not driving a motor vehicle or an automobile, for example, would be considered null and void on the very basis that the parts that make up the vehicle themselves are actually patented with the uh, with the patent office that provides them um, with a definition specific to motor vehicles. Here is another resource here called PatSnap. I will include this in the uh, description in addition. They show that 486,616 patents in the auto manufacturing uh, group have been provided with patents, both on vehicles themselves, as you can see here, it gives you kind of an indication here, uh, in the technology areas of motor vehicles, trailers, vehicles, vehicle fittings, and vehicle parts. Now, the, uh, once again, once again, this has to do with the very basis uh, of, of what a motor vehicle or an automobile or a road engine is. If you are driving around, for example, a, um, 
Nissan 350Z, okay, you are driving around a automobile or a motor vehicle. And the reason for that is because even though Nissan might not have a specific patent on that specific all-encompassed automobile it is within every single part right down to the glove box uh, and it all is umbrellaed under automobile slash motor vehicle slash road engine from the very inception of road engine patents all right the reason behind this video folks is I have been uh, just inundated with emails and comments uh, some of them not so nice with regards to the driving without a license. Uh, I drive a vessel. I drive a conveyance. I drive a pleasure craft. I drive, you know, uh, an alien starship. It matters not what you call it. If you go all the way back to the beginning of, of automobile or road engine time frame, Every single thing that you purchase when you buy uh, your vessel conveyance or pleasure craft uh, calls it a motor vehicle. The title itself calls it an automobile or a motor be motor vehicle. Um, because of the fact that it is pa all of the parts that make up that, uh, that power driven uh, with fluid mechanical mechanism that you're calling a vessel or a uh, conveyance it is all made up with patented parts that are umbrellaed under automobile and are umbrellaed under motor vehicle patents. Therefore, to any country, you're going to be dealing with the name of automobile or motor vehicle. It's all encompassed with the same definition. They are all road engines. And when you go to purchase one, you are purchasing an automobile or a motor vehicle. This pretty much is going to end it for me in terms of the right to travel scenario. You do have the right to travel. You can walk. You can ride a bike. You can hop on a carriage. You can, uh, <clears throat> you can be a passenger in an automobile. But you do not have the right based on the fact that the states all have the power to uh, govern their own roads the way they see fit. And because they see an automobile slash um, motor vehicle to be a dangerous piece of machinery, they take license to ensure that people are aware how to operate these vehicles um, in a manner that is going to be the most safe to the public. And as a result of that, uh, given by the Constitution's 10th Amendment, they have the right to um, form some form of uh, reg regulatory agency, which in most cases is the DMV or Department of Public Safety, requiring you to have a driver's license. All right, end of story here, folks. I will link these uh, articles and these databases to the description. The bottom line is, no matter what you call your automobile, it is still an automobile slash motor vehicle, and you are responsible for maintaining the licensing, the registration, and the insurance, should it be part of your uh, specific state's mandate, on that automobile and if you do not have those things you are breaking the law everyone have a great day bye bye